Hello, Marie. I'm gonna do single player, create new world. I'm gonna call it New World. What do you think? Does that work? New World Marie. Let's create this world. Okay. Creating a new world that, uh, wow, there we go. It takes a second to load. However, looks like I got some donkeys. Look at that. Got some donkeys. I don't know much about donkeys. Sun is coming up. It rises in the east and sets to the west. So that would mean this is north. And I, you can hit F3 and it pulls up this information. You can see fourth line from the bottom it says facing north. So and you can always use your XYZ which is a few lines above that. Those are your coordinates. So you can always, if you jot down your coordinates, you can always find your way back. Because you really could go get lost. Alright, so first things first. I got some bunnies down here. I'm not gonna kill any of these animals. Don't even have to worry about it. But I am going to collect some wood. It's gonna be kinda laggy for a minute, I believe. There's a lot going on, and I've never used this recording program, and it's free. And, you know, free things usually suck. So, but we'll see. I think it's going to work. So I'm going to break this block by left clicking it. And then I'm, you can see how the wood turns into that. I can pick those up. And you can see down here I'm using my scroller on my mouse to change what I'm holding. doesn't matter what you're holding right now. I'm uh, not using an axe. An axe would break it quicker. And I'll show you how to make axes. But I'm going to collect some wood. And uh, so I'm going to get the wood kind of in this area here. And then I'm, so I'm going to fast forward to that. Okay, well, I've got 17 pieces of wood just from this tree. There were two trees here. I got both of them. And I've never experienced this kind of lag, but to be honest, there's a lot that is loaded, and I can lower my settings so I'm not loading mountains way off in the distance. That's a lot of detail that I'm loading, if you can see that. But we need to find a spot. We're actually going over to those mountains. If you double click on the arrow, you sprint. So you just hit up, up, and hold up, and you sprint. But you can see there's water here, there's lava over there. There's a horse. You can get your little pony action going on. We're gonna go right over there. There's a cave. And underwater, just so you can see how it's like. The game is not normally this laggy. But, it's all good. Alright, I don't know if that's a great cave. That may be a better one. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spruce wood and right click over here it makes four wood planks so I'm gonna make a few wood planks I got 20 of them still has 12 wood which is good I'm gonna take the 20 wood or the planks and I'm gonna put them on top of each other and make sticks it makes four sticks each you need a few sticks to make weapons and torches and I'm just gonna make just a few more of these planks alright so now that I have that you take the wood planks and you only have to do this whenever you're setting up shop. Four of them make a crafting table. 
And then I'm going to use my scroller, go to the crafting table. It's all laggy. It's that re recording device I'm using. Alright, so now I'm in, in my crafting table. I right clicked it. And I'm going to put a couple sticks on top of each other for the shaft. And I'm going to put wood across the top for pickaxe. See, it kind of looks like a pickaxe, right? Alright, so a couple of those so I can break concrete easy. An axe for when I want to get trees. A hoe for when I want to garden. And then a shovel for digging. Alright, so now that I have that, I'm going to break out this concrete here. Let me show you how the pickaxe works. And then you get concrete. It's cobblestone. You can see it down there. You can actually right click and build with it. Let's see. But I'm going to clear this out and I'll fast forward to when I'm done clearing this out. Okay, well, as you can see, I've cleared out a bunch of it. I have 43 cobblestone blocks there. And uh, it's getting kind of dark in there. And, you know, monsters spawn in the dark. So, actually, I'm coming out of the cave here. I'm going to run up here and get this uh, coal. Coal's looking pretty good right about now because we can make torches with it. You mix this coal with a stick and you make four torches. So I'm going to get this coal. See, and the sun is starting to go down. It's well overhead. We're not getting much sun here, so we have five. Let me get this. Alright, so now we have some coal. Hurting myself. But let's get in this cave here. You don't have to use that crafting table because you only need a small one. So, 4, 8, 12, 16. I'll make 16 torches. I'll put them down right now. There's one. There's one, and there's some more coal. Let's get it. Let's stick one out here, too. And the more torches, the merrier for where you are. So. And as you can see, the moon's coming up. So it's the same thing as the sun. It just rotates days to night. And uh, I'm going to kind of bunker up in here, and I'll get you... I'm going to do a fast forward. I'll be right back. Well, actually, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use my cobblestone. And I'm going to try to make some sort of entrance. You know, something like that. doesn't have to be great. It's the first little safety place we're going. And uh, let's... Use a crafting table and the wood planks and put them in the shape of a door. And it makes wood doors. It makes three of them. So I'm actually going to use two of them. I'm here and show you a double door. There you go. Look at that. Spruce is a nice wood. It makes a pretty cool door. They're all different depending on what you have. But we're not safe because there could be anything up there. I have no idea what it is. So let's uh, block ourselves in. See how that works? Pretty simple. And I'm sure you could do it much better then I can. Alright, so now we are in this little area and it's nighttime outside. And I have 30 more seconds of video. So just wanted to show you how I survived the night. Let's go out here for the last 10 seconds. Oh, don't want to look at those guys. They will attack you. You see that guy over there, right? There's monsters all around outside in the dark. 